Here at Stanford, uh, our new building sits on a site that is directly adjacent to the buildings that were built in the 1950s. The 1950s complex was a very, very innovative uh, development in its time. A new project on the Stanford campus. Before that, Stanford Medical Center was in the city of San Francisco. So when the decision was made to move down on the campus, they built a complex that combined a hospital, clinics, and medical school all within one building all at one time. Uh, this was a great innovation at the time, and we're building as far as our site organization on a lot of that original master planning of location. So on our site model here, you'll see the green space at the front of our campus, which is called Pasture Mall. That was part of the original plan leading up to the medical center here and the drop-off area where we have our large fountain. The fountain in the green space will remain as part of the heritage of the medical center as we develop new buildings. Our new facility sits on a site uh, directly to the north of Pasture Mall, and we utilize the mall space for the parking for our new hospital. We call this concept parking in the park, but there's a lot of reasons for that. It means that the public can come in, orient to where they are at the center of our campus, and actually park and have their first experience right in the center of the activity of the entire campus. This is something you've seen in cities many times of great parks such as Millennium Park in Chicago that has parking underneath it. So it really creates a great first experience for our patients to know where they are. They're at the center of the Stanford campus and they'll be entering our new buildings right from the front door rather than from a series of different locations on the campus. The new building is connected back to our buildings built in the 1980s by a bridge and tunnel connection uh, that leads into the uh, new construction area here. The buildings we're building are, consist of two elements, two elements, uh, the new hospital itself and a parking structure directly adjacent to the hospital. This garage is for our staff, for our emergency visitors, and really is integrated into the hospital in some very unique ways.